Hey, I'm Stephen Glenn of Caleb and & Company, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a driver's license into a trophy. There is a fine line between help and hindrance when parenting a child. So how do you get them from childhood to adulthood without hindering their personal growth? It's my longtime philosophy that any child has to work to earn what they are striving to achieve. Not just doing the job, but establishing the job as well. Too much help from a parent can hinder the personal growth, and later in life, the child will often rely on the parents for things that they should know how to handle for themselves. So how much is too much? Good question. The answer is understanding the skills, resources, and experience of the child. And it may seem like I'm dodging the question here, but I'm really trying to help you out. See, there, there is a personal psychological appreciation in accomplishing one's goal, and it goes by the name of dopamine. According to Psychology Today, on a biochemical level, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that helps us to see rewards so that we'll take action to move toward our accomplishments. Dopamine also helps control the brain's reward and pleasure center. Or simply put, accomplishment makes us happy. Duh. We needed research to tell us that? We needed research to tell us that. So in turn, when the child accomplishes a goal that they personally set up, they will value the end result far more than if it was just handed to them. This is why I have my children work to earn their goal. And more specifically, the spending of their time, labor, and money to achieve it. And here's a perfect example. As of right now, I have a teen that is in the process of getting his own license. But I made him do all the footwork that it involves. Where do you have to go? Who do you have to talk to? What are the things you need to do to pass the test? When are you going to set the appointment? And how much do you have to pay? These were some of the questions that I posed to my son. Because it's his goal, not only is he to do the job, but he is the one that must set these items to accomplish. Only then will he appreciate the accomplishment he has made. Funny thing was, as soon as he realized he was paying for his own license, some, some things changed. Originally, he was going to reinstate his driver's permit, which had expired, and then get his license. But when he understood the cost to purchase both, oh, he wanted to skip the permit and go straight for the license. Suddenly, I had a coupon clipper. <laughs> Caveat. He did go through a driver's training course that he was not required to pay. Yes, yes, the parent is responsible to take care of the child. But again, as the parent, you have to weigh the skills, resources, and experience of the child. Obviously, if the kid is two, you may want to purchase his first set of plastic keys. But overall, you're the parent. Don't be afraid to make a good decision. I have nine children and one on the way. In, at my place of business, I had a customer ask me how I was going to purchase all the vehicles for my children they would be needing. And it's an interesting question. But it's that kind of parental hindrance that will stunt a child's growth. He does the work. You are the cheerleader. You don't buy cars for young men. He's a young man, capable of getting a car for himself. If he can't get his own car, he doesn't deserve the girl. If the child is old enough to handle the work, they should be expected to accomplish the job. Every goal they accomplish helps them appreciate to the next level in life. So, he got his license, and really, I don't know who came out better the young man who will value his driver's license like a trophy for the rest of his life, or the father who is blessed with a hard-working young man. Until next time, may the Lord bless you with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in his statutes. Oh, and I'm done with another video. Bring on the dopamine.